Hello everyone, welcome back to another Starships 2.0 tutorial. Now we're starting to get into the combat stuff. This time I'll be talking about moving your starship on a grid, though this information is still important for theater of the mind play. Ships take up various amounts of space based on their size. If you're playing on a square grid, however, you'll need to condense these values into much smaller sized tokens. A tiny or small ship should take up one square. A medium ship takes up two squares. A large ship takes up four squares, huge take up eight, and gargantuan take up 16 squares. I'm not going to go over all the rules for grid-based combat, since they're pretty much identical to those of the ground game, but there are some important differences you need to be aware of. Firstly, the grid scaling in starship combat uses grid squares that are 50 feet wide instead of 5 feet. Secondly, the direction your ship is facing is important. Ships can only move forwards or turn and their weapons firing arcs are also dependent on which way the ship is facing, so keep track of it. Thirdly, your ship comes equipped with two speeds, flying speed and turning speed. Flying speed is how far your ship can travel in a single round. For every foot your ship travels, it expends one foot from its flying speed. Turning speed determines how maneuverable your ship is. The lower its turning speed, the more maneuverable it is. Your ship's turning speed is the amount of flying speed your ship must spend to turn 90 degrees to port, left, or starboard, right. For example, if your ship has a flying speed of 200 and a turning speed of 100, it can fly straight for 100 feet and then turn 90 degrees to starboard and end its movement. If a ship's turning speed is higher than its flying speed, treat its turning speed e as being equal to its flying speed. You can also turn in smaller or larger amounts by spending a proportionate amount of speed. Turning 180 degrees would effectively double your turning speed whereas turning 45 degrees would have it. The ship's pilot controls how the ship moves, and they can break up the movement of the ship so other crew members can act. For example, your ship could move 100 feet, two crew members could take actions, and then the ship could move another 100 feet if it has the flying speed to do so. You can move through the space of non-hostile ships if you wish. You can also move through a hostile ship space if it is at least two sizes larger or smaller than your ship. Remember that another ship's space is difficult terrain for your ship. You cannot willingly end your turn on another ship's space unless a feature says otherwise. And that does it for movement. I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative, and I'll see you on the next one.